Howdy. In today's uh, um, video, we're going to talk about a song called Micah 6 8 by Charlie Hall on his, um, I think it was from his Flying into Daybreak CD. Um, uh, I found it kind of tricky to figure out at first, and so I thought I'd help those of you who wanted to play it that were getting a little, maybe getting a little bit frustrated with it. Uh, first, it's just uh, the chord progression is simply an A minor, and um, so it goes, it's, well, let me break it down. It is an A minor. If I can get this to show on my hand here. So it's not a full G, it only has the G bass, and right here it has the pinky. And then you just walk that down to D F sharp. And yes, a C bass. So you just do it like this. my hand is doing over here is for the A minor you just hit these these two strings here then that you hit on the bass of the G D, and the DF sharp bass and so for the acoustic part uh, for the acoustic part at the beginning before the rest of the band comes in you just do that get to the D F sharp instead of going to the C you go back to the A minor it sounds like this and then when he's getting ready to go into the verse um, you don't emphasize the bass note on the C um, when, you, when you're getting ready to go to the first verse it sounds like this and so on it progresses with that same a minor g bass d f sharp c bass and when you're doing that if you look you keep your pinky stayed plastered to the string right here see right here so it, it, it see the pinky's there and you just keep holding on to that and then when you're getting ready to go from the verse of the chorus, you just hold out the C. And then for the chorus, the chords are a G, then you hammer on the B, uh, the, uh, the second bass note there, the B, and the C for the suspended. So it's like this, just the, just the B and the pinky, like the G that we did before. Then you hammer on and you pull off the suspended, you pull off the C to make it a normal G. Then you go to a C, with just the bass like we did before, but then you hammer on the, um, sorry, the, uh, uh, the E here, and the C here. See that? So it sounds like this. And you can go back and forth or stay on it. I'm not sure which one he does. You can either do this, or you can just pull off. And then after that, you go to an E minor, but it has it keeps this pinky here. So it's... the whole chorus together, well the whole thing together would be like this. And then for the, uh, for the second verse, you end it differently. When you get to the last line, you go to an E minor, and then to and then you hold out the E minor till you get to the, a D, and then a real fast C like this. There's the A minor, the G, the D F sharp. Instead of going to your C, 
like you ended the first verse, the second verse ends by you going to the to an E minor like this. See that? It goes. Um, uh, let me pull up pull up the lyrics. Oh, actually, I closed down the lyrics. Um, well, the, on the, I can't remember what it is, but on the second verse, were you going to end it? Oh, um, there's no place too far that your mercy can't reach. On that part. There's no place too far that your mercy can't reach. And that C is real fast. So you hold out the E minor for two, but then when you get to the D, you only hold it out for one, and then you you end you quickly hit that C, but you don't emphasize you don't hold it out for more than just one strum. You strum and stop. So it sounds like this. C two. And I am sorry, I am messing up. Um, it's supposed to be no pinky on the E minor, I mean just pinky on the E with the E minor. Um, so for the, for, the, for the E minor, this finger isn't there. Then when you get to the D, see that? So now, this, this stays on after the E minor, it comes on at the D to make it a D suspended 4. And then you just keep it on for the C, but once again, the C is only in bass. It doesn't have these any of these over here. Um, and so that's the first and the second verse, and that was the second the way the second verse ended. Um, and then when you're getting ready to go to the to the bridge, um, so let um, oh, I can't remember how it goes, but in the background they have background singers and they say, um, uh, so let justice come or fall or something like that. Um, you end the chorus. Then you go back to the to the progression from the verse. But then he comes in and they go to the bridge, which is this. For the bridge, once again, let me walk you through that. You are doing the progression from the from the verse, but then instead of going to the C the second time, you go down to the E minor. Once again, you keep this pinky here. So let justice fall, or come, or something like that. So it's let justice fall. Justice fall. But what it does is... Sorry, I was singing out a key there. Um, the E minor. Then you then you do the D F sharp, but just the bass. G. Then C. Two. Then you go back to the E minor. Oh, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, and back to the E minor. So the walk up. Then just two times, one, two, E minor, the walk up, one, two, three, four, then back to the chorus. And then to end the song, you do the progression, but you just hang on the C. that rings out. So just remember if you're going to, if you're progressing with the um, with the verse, you hammer on, you, you let that bass be, on the C chord, you let that C be heard. But if, if you're going into the chorus, 
you don't you don't hit the bass. You don't emphasize it. You just go. So I hope that helps you if you're having problems with this song. Um, you might have to listen to it a few times. I apologize. I didn't make it overly clear. Um, and I've already drugged this out a little bit too long. Uh, so if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'll try to put the chords down below with with the lyric lyrics so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, and just remember, he, he does play around with it, so um, there are some parts that he may have a variation on that I just didn't catch. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, make sure to watch my other videos and uh, share or like this if you want to. Um, more videos up later. Thanks.